Welcome back. Today is day four of my plein air April uh, little challenge where I do one painting a day for the month of April. I'm doing it all in this sketchbook, all in gouache, and that way I can learn how to do gouache better. And I am at a golf course. I actually used to work here in the pro shop and I am teaching a class here tonight. So I have one hour until I need to stop and set up for class. So let's see what I create today. We are near the driving range. So you're gonna hear people hitting some balls, but meantime, I'm gonna be sketching part of the view, figure out what I want to see. Just use my pencil to measure out like how big this tree should be in relationship to the landscape I'm working on. Blocking in all the shapes. Trying to do this quick because I have a limited time today. Okay. Here it is. Okay, you can see yesterday's painting and then my palette mud from yesterday and then the sketch I just did so first thing I do is mix color I find myself having problems mixing color lately so let's see if I can improve that actually I might have some pretty good sky color already mixed up And then this is a little golf cart path. Go away, bug. Cleaning up this side. Don't really have the need for this color today. We got some stubble, hayfield in the background. Too much red. I forget how powerful red is. Yeah. 
Mm -hmm. A little too red. There we go. All white. And then I need a dark green. <laughs> the tall trees at the top of this hill. And then we got more trees elsewhere, but I don't want to paint around them. The beauty of gouache, opaque color. The trees with no leaves. This is pretty much their color. Ew. I am not good at mixing colors. Can go should be better. Halfway through with my time constraint. Let's see how much further I can go. Some sprinkles fell on me, so I decided to scooch over one way to finish my painting. 
there's a little cover from the sky right here. So, mix some more colors for the oak trees with no foliage. Need some of this right here. So the paintbrush I'm using today is by Sarah Byrne Studio and Craftimo. This is the size 12 round brush I am using. So far, this is the only brush I've used for this painting. So, let's continue. Oh, it's um, it's hailing. Once again, it's hailing. I should not be surprised by that. Okay, uh, I'm gonna block in this color. Okay, time to switch my paintbrushes out. <clears throat> The other paintbrush that I'm using is the size 1 rigger brush. It's very long and slender. should help me achieve the different, um, sun's out, achieve the different fine line structures. I am still safe from the hail if it's coming down. Okay, there's some tree trunks that I need, and then the big tree right here, I'm gonna block in real quick, the trunk with the same color, a little bit darker. There we go. And that guy stands right here. And always stay consistent with your light source especially plein air. Even though your light source changes a lot, you want to stay consistent with it. Things that are closer to you are usually darker, so I'm going to make a green that is a little bit lighter than this nice green. to help them recede a little bit. More hail. Okay. I'm not gonna do a lot of detail in this tree because I don't want it taking over the piece as in the painting. Kind of block it in. Grab a little bit darker though and do a little bit of suggested detailing. And now I'm going to take my little script brush and do some of the foliage.
building over here. And then there's a brush row along here, which the road goes along. So I am going to make that a little bit of a red, brown, viney foliage. Oh, that's too dark. Lighten that up. Too much paint. Can I dry brush it on? Like a leading line. Let's see how much time I have. It is 15 minutes left. I like to vary the color a little bit. Okay. Last thing is gonna be the big tree. Get out my big round brush real quick and mix a little bit more of a dark paint. And then I'm making my brush strokes in the way that they're growing, they're kind of growing up. down here. Um, look. Details on the tree since this is the closest object. The sun is out again. So nice. Doing most of the light areas on the left side because that is where the sun is coming from. Oops. Oh, my palette is an absolute mess. Check, check out that poor yellow. Check it out, that poor thing. So this way. And then Man, that sun is beautiful. All right, I think I am done with it because about nine minutes left to where I need to stop. Well, just a little bit more. Because these lines look too much on the blue side.
gosh, beautiful weather. All right. So that was my little painting. If you enjoyed watch me paint plein air today, make sure to subscribe to my channel because I will be doing more paintings. So today was only a day four of my plein air April challenge, painting every day in the month of April. When you subscribe, you will get notifications of when my new videos are posted. I am painting, editing, and posting every day in the month of April and you don't want to miss out so make sure to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed watching it um, I hope this has inspired you I did this painting in a um, little under an hour and so yeah get outside go somewhere get out your paints and paint thanks for watching happy painting <laughs>